to the lesson on trigonometric identities. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to list and explain trigonometric identities. These are standard trigonometric identities. Let us prove these trigonometric identities one by one. Consider a triangle ABC right angled at B. We have AC as the hypotenuse and AB and BC as the sides. From Pythagoras theorem, AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Upon dividing each term by AC square, we get whole square of AB upon AC plus whole square of BC upon AC equal to 1. Since AB upon AC is equal to cos A and BC upon AC is equal to sin A, hence upon substituting this we get cos A square plus sin A square equal to 1. This is equal to sin square A plus cos square A is equal to 1. This is a trigonometric identity because it is true for all angles between 0 degree and 90 degrees, inclusive of these. Now let us divide this equation by AB square. We get 1 plus whole square of BC upon AB equal to whole square of AC upon AB. Since BC upon AB is equal to tan A and AC upon AB is equal to sec A, upon substituting these values, we get 1 plus tan square A is equal to sec square A. This is another trigonometric identity. Now let us divide this equation by BC square. We get whole square of AB upon BC plus 1 equal to whole square of AC upon BC. Since AB upon BC is equal to cot A and AC upon BC is equal to cosec A, upon substituting these values, we get cot square A plus 1 is equal to cosec square A. This is also a trigonometric identity.